Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so, so excited about today's look and I get excited about basically every look that I film just because I love playing around with makeup and creating different types of looks. But I haven't been this excited about a look in a really long time. I feel like I never want to wash it off. I'm just obsessed with how it turned out. And I was actually inspired by Katie on Instagram. She did this look and I was in love. Like, look at that. Oh my god, it is so beautiful, but she did all neutral tones like browns and blacks and I actually wanted to recreate it exactly how she did just because I really wanted to see how it would look on me. But then I was like, no. I really want to try out this new Sigma Enchanted eyeshadow palette and I swatched this on my Instagram stories and was in love with it. The shades are so beautiful. They're so different. I don't know what it is, but I honestly wanted to do something not neutral. I wanted to kind of do something with the greens in this palette. Like, I loved this shade right here. It's very pretty and duochrome. And then this green right here. The whole palette in general is just very different and fun and so stunning. So I wanted to recreate Katie's look using that same technique, but with the Sigma Enchanted eyeshadow palette and kind of put my own little twist on it with different shades. And also I'm going to be showing you guys how I create this look using my Plina LA Favorites brush set with Sigma. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how I achieved this look using all five brushes in this set. I didn't use any other brushes, just these five. So mine are super dirty obviously because I used them for this look. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you want to stick around to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going into the Sigma Enchanted eyeshadow palette. The first shade I'm picking up is Tara. First, starting off with the E38 Diffuse Crease Brush, I'm going to just apply this right into the socket of my crease, kind of push in and just feel where that socket of your crease is, and then just go back and forth. You can slightly wing that out and don't apply it right here because it's really not going to need to be there, so I'm just applying that through my crease. And now I'm going to switch over to my E25 Blending Brush and start applying that and deepening that up again into my crease. I like to use the E38 first to kind of diffuse that and buff that shadow out and now I'm just going to add some dimension with this brush. And I'm using a really light hand because I really want to place the shadow just in this kind of shape right here. And then you can start blending that towards this outer part of your crease. I'm going into the Sigma Eyeshadow Base Primer in Ignite, and then I'm going to use this as a base for my lid, and I'm just going to roughly apply this onto the lid and kind of cut out that crease. And then with my Sigma F70 Concealer Brush, I'm going to start perfecting the edges of the crease. And then blend out the base on my lid. For my lid, I'm picking up Metamorphosis. So I always have a paper towel by me or a napkin or something that I can just wipe off my brush in between each shadow because I am going to be using this brush for a lot of steps right now, so I like to just wipe everything in between. So now I picked up this shadow on my F70 Concealer Brush again, and now I'm going to start tapping that over top of this base that I applied on my lid. Now before I continue on with the lid, I'm going to finish off my lash line and I'm going in with Tara in my E54 medium sweeper brush. And then I'm going to blend that down pretty far down because I want the lower lash line to be very smoky. I'm now going into evergreen and now I'm picking up evergreen and doing that same thing, just smoking this out on my lower lash line all the way into this inner corner. And then just keep smoking that down. So first I'm going to start off with my EO6 wing liner brush and create a line from my outer corner to the tail of my brow. And then I'm roughly just going to create that line that's going to connect into my crease. And then now connecting the line from the outer corner into the center of my lid to create the wing liner. And now I'm just going to first fill in this empty area of my wing liner. And then with whatever is left in the brush, I'm just going to lightly blend again into that lower lash line. And then start blending right here to start smoking this 
outer corner out because I want it to be very smoky and connect into that lower lash line shadow. Okay, now that that's very smoked out, that took me a hot minute. I needed to step away for a little bit and get really close to the mirror to see that. But now I'm going to pick up that same evergreen shadow on the tip of this F70 concealer brush by Sigma. And now with my Sigma E54 medium sweeper brush, what I'm going to do is lightly just start blending this shadow out. And you can even take this small EO6 wing liner brush and just lightly start buffing the very edge of this line. And I'm not going to be bringing it all the way in here. This is as far as I go right here. So I really want it just to diffuse right there and then concentrate on blending it. And now picking up Terra again and just applying that right at the very high point and then blend that into the inner corner to bring back that nice warmth and help diffuse this outer corner. To line my waterline and tight line, I'm going to the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Invasion. I'm now going to line my lower waterline and then line my upper waterline. I'm now going to apply some mascara and false lashes until I'm going to these exterior glam X tart lashes in 0 to 100 and that's the I look done. Okay, I love how this look turned out. I love the color combination and everything about it, the technique and everything. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. So now for my lips, I'm going to go into this L'Oreal Rouge Lip liquid lipstick i always forget the names of these and this is in the shade i create it's kind of like a little bit of a mauvey nude i feel like it's really going to tie into my lid shadow because it has like that mauvey kind of reddish base to that shadow so this is what i'm going to apply and that's it there's a completed look of my half cut crease smoky cat eye look i hope you guys enjoyed I am obsessed with this look. I mean, I already mentioned it, but I honestly love it so much. I love this technique, and I feel like it really just elongates your eyes. It makes them look really sexy and sultry and very cat eye-ish. And also, you can create this look with any shades, and I'm obsessed with the technique. It does take a little bit of time, also maybe because it was my first time ever trying it here on camera for you guys. So maybe with a little bit of practice, I'll get it down to kind of like a quicker speed. So don't be discouraged if it does take you a while because it definitely took me a really, really long time. And I've been sitting in this chair for a really long time now. So I need to finally get up and kind of stretch and walk around. But I'm so glad that the look turned out like this. I'm obsessed. So obsessed. So I hope that you guys are as well. And if you want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that'd be right here as well as down in the description box. And also a list of all the products that I use today along with my brush set with Sigma will be listed down below for you guys to find everything easier. And I think that should be it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.